guys. At the time of I'm recording this video, it's about seven and a half hours away from New Year's my, at my time, so I thought I'd share with you what my favorite updates in Lumber Tycoon were this year. So coming at number five is the new wedges. So if you guys have played this game anytime before, there was 4x4, 3x4, 2x4, right here, place already there, and 1x4. And you might think, 4 wedges, maybe that's enough. Honestly, if I ever wanted any chance of building this boat right here, this whole boat right here is basically wedges. This part, wedge, wedge, wedge. You guys may think it's a 2-4 maybe do this, but the main thing is over here. Each angle is different and like this one is 1x4 and this one down here is 1x3. You can see how their angles are different and it helps you build more accurately and also the whole front part of my base right here, this green border, would not be possible without the new wedges. And number four is probably some something you guys will probably remember. Whenever someone goes on and blacklists you, there's no one to server right now, but yeah, you get the point. They click your name, and all of a sudden you feel so laggy, and your computer may just like go no. I'm glad that he fixed this because a base that is this big, just imagine me clicking blacklist for everyone and then the player list goes on full to go like poof and the server just dies. So I'm kind of glad that he fixed this, the blacklist lag glitch and yeah. Number three is probably the man over there and the other, the trees over there, the islands, yeah. It's the January Mega update, it's the fairy, the tropics, the maze, the maze characters, Hoover, Hoover scamming, whatever, that, basically the tropics island, so, it's kind of big, and it's allowed default to to put uh, new stuff in there, which I, I see the point of adding more land, because having this one island here, it just kind of feels a little cramped, and like, there's a bridge to the next biome, there's another bridge to the next biome. It's just so much bridges, and then there's like rocks over there. It's just so much, it feels kind of a bit too much landlocked, so... I like having a ferry over here, but the thing is the ferry driver's kind of scammy, so yeah. And I like having some shops over there, like the Fine Arts Shop and the Link's Logic Store, which... Did not release at the same time, but still, it was kind of... And like the maze. A new wood type, especially glowing wood, which I liked. And number two is the end times biome. So the thing about the end times biome is it's the it's similar to a Rukairiax quest, which was the only quest in the game. And basically, what you do is you get an ostrich eye and put it in the hole in the bridge booth. And it also is like it's kind of fun and challenging, which I like it. It's challenging and fun because. If it's too easy, I don't like it. If it's too challenging, I rage quit on it. So yeah, it's just the right mix. And also, it's kind of funny watching people fail. And finally, number one. You guys probably know me in the first place because of this. It's something in this view right here. What do you think it is? This whole machine right here would not have been possible without chop saws and wiring and a lo logic as well if you include a signal inverter right here so this is the whole reason why I had begun my YouTube channel is probably because of the wiring and so because of the wiring you can create so many new things like conveyor systems hatch like automatic doors laser systems you can make like decals and neon wire neon signs and all that stuff but the main thing is Yes, you probably know. It's Tree Fetty. There's nothing better than this. There is nothing better than the field. Of just putting wood into the cannon. Putting wood in the cannon. Letting the chop saws cut it. Copy it. Do whatever they want with it. Until they stop cutting the wood. 
and then all the wood just piles in the middle you set the machine to throw the wood forward you detonate tnt and watch the awesome explosion it is probably the best feeling ever well besides scamming hoover but i'm not sure i'm not sure if hoover's if scamming hoover is fun or not but tree fatty is the reason why i started my youtube channel in the first place so it's also the videos that have gotten me up here so this is probably why i started making videos so I would consider this one the best update in 2016. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in 2017.